My name is Tata Fox, and this is the Tata Fox Express train. Darling! I feel like I'm a little crooked. Right. So, guys, today I'm doing a mukbang. A mukbang. And I was in the hood. Up to no good. I'm sitting on the floor. Because uh, this room is the room with the best lighting. I'm not going to tear this open properly. Fuck it. Now my family is from Dubai in Soweto, my mom's side. And I went and I got a maquinha. Right? Oh my gosh. Let me just take all the food out. I got some chips. You know the food is good. You know the food is good. When the chips come in a paper bag like this, look at the color of the chips because I asked for all the spices. All the spices. I said salt, vinegar, all of them. Special. Snook. Y'all wanna have a look at that? That is the complete plate of food. So before I start, I'm gonna tell you guys, okay, I'm not doing October, so. Happy bum. But you can have spike girls without. I'm not gonna say the name, but you know what this is. All right. Before we get into it, I'm gonna talk about this acha. Everybody who knows me knows that I Love acha. Acha is like my thing. So, I know someone who sells really good acha. Um, I always go to the same person every time I come to Joburg. Um, so if you're in, an area, in, the, in and about the area of Joburg and you want really good acha, please support this guy. He really is trying to make a living, guys. He makes amazing acha. I'm gonna put his number down in the description box for you guys to please contact him, call him. He sells 40 liter bucket, 40, four liter. Four liter buckets, two liter, one liter buckets. He sells small tubs. He sells, guys, he sells different varieties of acha. But if you taste this acha, listen, when it comes to food, when it comes to, I am the real connoisseur, okay? I am the comb the queen. The only thing missing here is a Russian. It would have made this whole thing perfect, but I felt like I'm being, I'm being a little pig. Um, so, Please make sure to contact this person and order your um, acha. He does deliver if you're going to be ordering a big bucket, but call him and get his prices. He is the best acha, the best acha in Joburg, guys. Like, and I, I kid, I kid you not. This acha is the acha that I traveled to London with. It's not. The, don't tell me about the acha bulbuls. Don't tell me about the acha go pick and pay, please. This pickled mango acha is the best. Take my take my word for it. If it's not that good, then you're a liar. Okay, so we're gonna be reacting to some confessions. I had people on Instagram send me some confessions. And let's get into the confessions. But let me first make my first legueño. So how you make a legueño, right? Is you first put in your your chips and I'll scoop up the acha into the laguena. Right? And then I top it off with the special. I don't put tomato sauce. Some people put like tomato sauce and all that stuff. No. Then when I first do that, I wash it down with the Coke. Ah, 
Now that my palette is cleansed of all the ungodly things that were in it, I'm going to now buy it a bit of heaven. I'm going to show you where I got my maguinhos. I only get my maguinhos from one place in Ndube. The best. Look at the shape even. They're square, they're not round. They are not, they're not filled. You see, it's like, it's not thick, fluffy, airy. Mm. So these are some after eight confessions, after 12, midnight. Okay, the first person says, I told my ex that my daughter is his. We're going for a DNA test today. His current BF is crushed. Oh, my current BF is cr <laughs> I told my ex that my daughter is his. We're going for a DNA test today. My current boyfriend is crushed. How's the daughter? Mm, 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 mm. South Africans. <laughs> you guys like playing with your lives, girl. <laughs> So African men aren't like those other men who tolerate that kind of stuff, guys. They will shoot you. Uh -huh. They will finish you, girl. Be guys, be careful out there. My battery's gonna die, guys. So I'm gonna change to another camera. The sound's gonna be different. Okay, I'm back, but I'm using a much cheaper quality camera um, so I'm hoping that the lighting is good enough okay <clears throat> so moving on to the next question the next confession was I'm engaged just not to my boyfriend He thinks the ring is just one of my other rings. Uh, girl, that drip guy, slapping and dribbling men. I do know what they deserve it because South African men have been dribbling women for centuries, for years, for decades. Dribble them men. I took some cash for my side nigga. And gave it to my boyfriend. <laughs> what? He took money from your side nigga. I mean. If you and your man are struggling, one of y'all got to hustle. Okay, so somebody says, You, I've never said this out aloud, but I lost my virginity in a park. I was 13. To who? I hope it wasn't a boy who was older than you. I mean, I know. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a boy. I'm like losing virginity to a girl is any better. Um, I hope it wasn't a, an adult in the park. Did you have a mat? Mm. My little kids don't have focus. Was it? Did you have a mat? But you're 13. You're underage. How old was the guy? All these questions. You can't give me half stories, guys. I'm in love with a homie, and he's in a relationship. Guata spends more time with me than his girl. Please help. Let me tell you something about men. He can spend as much time as he wants with you. Right? He could spend a decade, a century, months, days, hours, seconds with you. But still be in love with another person. Okay? Just because he's spending his time with you doesn't mean that he wants to be with you. Maybe he just finds you funny. Okay? Maybe he finds you funny. Maybe his girlfriend is busy. You know? Maybe your breath reminds him of his childhood maybe you look like his mama maybe he don't have friends and now he's making you his friend don't fall for niggas who got girlfriends because don't fall for them if you if you're gonna be a side girl the number one rule is don't fall for them because the fact that he's allowing you to be a side girl 
already means that he doesn't really want you that way anyway. If you if, if a man wants to dump his main for you, then you were never meant to be a side girl. But if he still keeps his main, his maiden, he makes you the side girl. Don't fall for him. You are even in another level. That's even worse because you're just a friend. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. I feel like I'm being too harsh. But protect your heart, guy. I tell my friends all the time. Men will protect themselves. Men have put themselves first. And then, he puts themselves first. School, he'll study and then go home. Work, he'll go to work. He'll work hard for his, for, for his uh, uh, bonus. He'll work hard for his promotion. And then he'll go take the girls to the club afterwards. He'll go to work with the hangover. Men, they put their careers and their lives first. They put their hearts first. Women are out here trying to be, oh, oh, I'm gonna take care of a man. I'm gonna love this man. I'm gonna do this for the man. I'm gonna sacrifice the Uta Shwa sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice Uta Shwa. <laughs> that wasn't even the confession. I just need to get that on my chest. I only need to stop sacrificing. You need to put your heart first. These men will use you and leave you. While they progress in life, while you're out here being bimbi. Ah ah! Girl! Toha! Will I ever stop masturbating? Psh, girl, who are you asking? Stop it! Get some help. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> because masturbation is a healthy, normal part of life. Why do you want to stop? Enjoy your life. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your pony. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Don't let those people in church tell you that masturbation is wrong. It's right. It's right. It's not leading you out on the streets. It's not making you go sleep with men you're not meant to be sleeping with. You know, it's not making you be with people you're not supposed to be with. You with yourself. You're learning to be with yourself. It's right. Enjoy it, gonna kill. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. Got the potato. Jimmy, eat the Enjoy yourself, girl. Don't listen to these fools. Hmm, masturbation is ungodly. Uh uh. Why did God create my fingers and my. <laughs> girl, bye. Be honest. You low key don't want any more kids. Are you asking me? I want like five more. This is about your confessions. It's not about you confessing what you think about me, fool. But um, last week me and my boyfriend did it. They by the mountains. Now I see why people hype hiking. Are you not scared that uh, something will crawl up your ass? See, that's why I, mm, I'm on adventures in life, guys. Grass. You know, the last time I went hiking at the botanicals. I walked past a brown house snake. I know it's a brown house snake because we used to own a brown house snake. But I walked past a brown house snake. Now imagine I'm doing this during there and the brown house snake is just there watching us. Hmm? How many snakes can a girl handle? <laughs> Let's handle the ones that you're dealing with. But the other ones that are watching me in the wild. Once I'd say it's with two guys two hours apart in one day. You guys are eating life, eh? <laughs> I have so many questions that I just saw over 18. Don't you get sore down there when there's been too much friction happening? TMI. Too much intercourse. If you're using condoms, doesn't it smell down there? I have condom. I just went home and showered. You didn't say that. Do you not compare the two men? Yo, I'm trying to understand. I'm just gonna go die a virgin. Girl, you're not gonna die a virgin. There's too many dumbass niggas out there who will give you sex. The the key is to have sex with somebody who is gonna treat you right. Even if it's just for the night. I'm dating my friend's boyfriend. Oh yeah, hell. We are healing. 
We don't smash the homies. We don't do that. Unless your friend's whack. And then she's not really your friend. Hmm? Then you can backstab the bitch. <laughs> Is it your real friend? Mm -mm. She's not really your friend. You don't really feel that much of hanging around with her because you like the company and you're bold. Okay. But if she's your real friend, stop. Stop. For real. Dating a married man who's the love of my life. I'm thinking of getting pregnant with him soon. Let me tell you something. Don't fall pregnant with a married man because your child is going to be a secret. And there's nothing in the world that you want less than raising a human being who thinks they're a secret. That's unfair to that little human being. Okay? And picture yourself in 20 years. You think you're going to still be with that same guy? In that same situation? No. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't have a baby with that guy. If you wanted to, he'd be divorced and be with you. Is he getting a divorce to be with you? Then wait for the divorce to be finalized. Otherwise, don't do it. Love yourself and your baby, your eggs. The eggs that you're carrying in your body, love them more than you love anybody else. Don't be now given some fool who's already made another woman or who's already married to another person. The father of your kids. Kids are not meant to be secrets. You're sleeping with a married pastor. Guys, I knew, but hey, 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 hey. Cheating. Cheers. Me and the pastor on Sundays. Pastors are freaks and pastors are lies. You see, everyone tell me that a pastor. I, I'm a pastor. I'm here. Pastors. You tell me you're a good person. I get it. You tell me you're an accountant. I believe you. Tell me you're a lawyer. I know you're a liar. Tell me you're a doctor. I know you're boring, but you're good at what you do. You tell me that you're a pastor. I know you're a freak. While well, you guys are busy there praying in church, the pastors are here. Pastors. The unfortunate thing is that he's also married. Oh. Guys, married men ain't that great. Date somebody who's not married. I know all men seem like they're taken. Otherwise, for real, brick that person so that he act, what, make sure that he leaves his partner so that you're not the side chick. But dating a married person, how long have you been with this person? In fact, let me not advocate for breaking people because we all know someone's gonna be offended. They stay offended. I can't do fun videos because people stay offended. I enjoy masturbating way more than I enjoy having sex with him. Let me tell you why. Let me put on my um, anti tattoo hat. The reason why you enjoy masturbating more than you enjoy having actual sex with partners is because clearly your partners don't know how to satisfy you that much. You know your body and you know what you like. The reason why you enjoy that more is because you're pleasing yourself. When you are experiencing sex with somebody else and they're not doing what you like, you're obviously going to enjoy self-gratification more than you will when you're somebody who doesn't know your body so here's my tip watch a little poem with your partner have great communication with your partner tell your partner what you like send him a text message about what you like what you don't like make a couple memes about making fun of other people about what they do that you don't like so that in the back of his head He's thinking, I shouldn't do this. She don't like that. I should do this because she like that. You gotta teach somebody. Each one, teach one, girl. Teach. Don't let men go out into this world thinking that they're the shit. Woman, you guys are the worst. You guys are the ones who fake pleasure, fake, fake a good time, and then the rest of us who are not married are married. I mean the rest of y'all. <laughs> the rest of us, me excuse. Have to deal with men who think they're their shit in bed. When the actual fact, they're not. Please, let's start being honest. Let's start there. Let's start being truthful. Let's start to say, hold on. Wait. You're not that good, but let's fix that. Stop telling people that they that they're good in bed when they're not. No, no, no. 
So I have this bit and he keeps disappointing me in bed because the pipes aren't laying, hey? I want a ghost. Do you think it's a ghost? If the only reason why you're there is for sex and he can't give you sex, why are you there? <laughs> ghost to him. Cut him off. In fact, take my own advice that I just it took a few minutes ago. Tell him that you ain't that good. Because he's going to keep doing the same thing to some other poor soul. Some other poor soul who just wants to have a good time. And you're ruining it for the rest of us because you're not telling him the truth. Cut. Stop it. Why are people asking me questions? How is your sex life after giving birth? Mm, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Snooky sweetie. My sex life was A-OK and O-OK is going great. Thank you very much for asking, but I don't know why you're asking me because this is about you, you guys. I had an affair with my cousin's husband whilst visiting her. You are going to hell. A best class ticket. Yo, deliver her out of it all. I, I go to jail. I'll whoop your ass. I go, I go to jail. Better you than me. Because... If it was me and I found out that you was sleeping with my husband and you my cousin, I'm going to jail. I'm sorry. I don't play like that. And you can't confess. You can't confess now. You can't confess now. You're going to be breaking up your whole family. You're going to have to die with that secret. That's my advice. Die with that secret. Because even if your cousin and her husband break up, you come then all of a sudden be like, yeah, and he was a piece of shit anyway, I slept with him. Girl, that's never gonna happen. You need to die with that secret. You hear me? Protect your family. <laughs> Protect your family from you. Because you're wild. I let him eat me out after another dude came in me. Oh my God. The slippery slimy out of it all. The slippery and slimy of it all. You know, I thought men were nasty. <laughs> Women are just as freaking nasty. Guys, I'm eating snook. If you guys don't know what snook fish is, it's basically cured fish. Using salt. It's so salty, but it's nice. But I can't eat the whole thing, guys. I'm moving this over. Oh no, a bit more. Mm. I want to my father's dick whilst he was showering. You, <laughs> fuck right off. I'd rather die. This is makeup. I would rather die. You can send me to my grave. You can bury me whilst I'm still alive. I really don't want to see that in my lifetime. Guys, <laughs> I keep going back to that. I didn't eat them late. I let them eat me out. I let another person come inside me. <laughs> Yo, wild. Yo, yo, y'all are wild. <laughs> Ooh. I hope you can hear me. I'm a born again virgin. <laughs> and I'm a born again hoe. <laughs> no. How? 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 And I know you. So I want you to call me and tell me how. Because once you know how, you how you can't take that back. You can't take it back. Accept it. Be happy with your past. You lived a very full cup. Not you personally, but I'm just saying. If you want a hoe in your lifetime, accept it. Live. You lived a very full, colorful life. You lived your life, baby. Why do you need to be ashamed of that? Please. Now, born again, how? Is it through church? Maybe not, not through the church. Maybe maybe it's the churches are not saying they can make you a virgin. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> He stood me up on my birthday. I got angry and I slept with an ex fling that night. I regret every day. 
Why? Any kind of fool that stands you up on your birthday deserves all the kind of misery life has to offer. Enjoy that. Let him suffer in silence. You should have told him afterwards. I'm six weeks pregnant with my boyfriend of three months. Baby and I still haven't told my boyfriend of four years. Wait, the grandma was wrong. Let me reread that again. I'm six weeks pregnant with my boyfriend of three months. With the baby. And I still haven't told my boyfriend of four years. Well, Rabaiki, you do like a debaki. You must make a joke out of it. It's not funny, guys. It's not funny. It's a little bit funny. But who, who's the baby daddy? Are you sure that's the baby daddy? Just break up with your boyfriend of four years. If you're keeping this baby, it means that you want to be with this boyfriend of how many months you said? Three months. Just break up with him, then you don't have to tell him that you're having a baby with somebody else. Just break up with him. That's my advice, just break up with him. I wanna pick someone, I haven't found the right guy. I wanna pick someone too. <laughs> Scott is like, no. Obviously he's like, no. What kind of sane ass man wants to be picked? Good luck trying to find that guy. Good luck trying to find. Somebody who wants to be picked. I kiss two brothers and their friend and nobody knows nothing. Are you sure? Men will pretend like they don't know anything. But they know everything. I slept with two of my husband's friends in the same year. You must have some good pum pum. <laughs> what? My sister's the border negotiations have started, but I can't find it in me to be genuinely happy for her. Why? Do you not like your sister? Is she a hater? Are you a hater? What's, what's happening? Send me an email. Email tatafox at icloud.com. Ask Miss Fox. Give me the full story so I can understand because something doesn't sit right with me. Why would you, about that situation, why would you not be happy for your sister? One of you are haters. If it ain't you, then it's her. And it, maybe it's her, and you're just responding to the hate she gives you. What's the problem? What's the problem? Tell me. I want to try scissoring so bad. <laughs> it's a bit overrated. Girl. Let's go back. Let's not move. You can find partners. I mean, if you're in your youth, every woman at some point has an exploration day when she realizes that maybe, not every woman, maybe not every woman, a lot of girls kiss girls. And they're like, mm, I wonder if that makes me lesbian. I wonder if that makes me bad. Explore. Enjoy. And decide what it is you like. I love watching professional earwax I love that too. Oh, the professional earwax removal videos. I love, I love, and Dr. Pimple Popper, that's my thing! Please do another video with Owami. I saw Owami, I haven't done a video yet. I haven't vlogged and done anything in the longest time. Mama, I still, I'm still in love with my ex of four years ago. I want him, I want to be with him, but don't know communication. If he wanted to be with you, he'd also communicate with you. Call him up, find him and see where he's at and if he dumped it and if he rejects you then at least you've got closure okay if you hurt your feelings that's even more closure on why he should be your ex sometimes i feel like we punish ourselves you could get your answer whenever you want to get your answer i don't know why i go into an american accent when i want to go into an american accent like i feel like i must be some sort of american queen i'm not i'm so south african it's like it's like ridiculous Oh, do you guys like my Duke? I decided not to wear the fake Gucci one. <laughs> Must be the liquor. Went to a club, met a sexy man who was slightly older. Six years older. Six years later. You mean older, right? I had a fling with. Wait a minute. Let me reread that. Went to a club, met a sexy man who was slightly older. Six years later, had a fling with his son. Oh. You should go back to date. 
I like my man older, so that's why I'm gonna give you daddy advice. I don't know about these young things. So somebody said, this is not a journey one. I honestly don't see a future with my current. Let me DMX, but please send me an email at totalfox at icloud.com. Ask Mrs. Fox is back. She's back. Ask Mrs. Fox. Get into the comment section. Get into my emails. I want to answer all your questions. You see, I'm ready. I'm ready. Why does my neck look like... I look like I'm losing weight. <laughs> right, guys. This is the last few seconds of questions. Are you a giver or receiver? In this is not about me, guys. This isn't about me. I was living with my neighbor's husband for a year. So then when you see a neighbor's wife spent his line hanging up there, you just think, hmm. Now you can do that. After the kids go to bed, we practice for his siblings with his teeth. Yes, the thing it's meant to be. Having kids. You need to have a bedtime. Kids need to have a bedtime so that we can make more kids. I'm telling my husband I want to divorce this weekend. Tired of the emotional abuse. You need to kick his little emotional abusive ass to the curb. Do you know, physical abuse is one thing. Emotional abuse stays with you for the longest time. Because when the bruises and the scars have been punched and kicked and bullied and dragged have healed, the emotional scars stay with you for a very, very long time. Emotional abuse is tough and a lot of people overlook emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is the pits. You live with those scars for a very long time. He has a three-year-old son and I'm pregnant with his baby. I regret it sometimes. But you went into it in the first place. It's not like the three-year-old was just born three days ago. He was born at three. You guys need to have a frank conversation about this three-year-old and, and, and figure it out. You are the woman who went into a relationship with the man who's got a kid. So you, as a new woman, need to accept his kid come rain or sky or shine. And he needs to support you come rain or sun or shine. You need to be coming first, ooh, becoming. You need to be first, not above the kid, but he needs to protect your and his relationship so that you can love his kid wholeheartedly without any reservations. If you feel like he is putting the kid first in your relationship, you'll always be like, hmm. But if he tells you that, listen, you are gonna stay with me regardless of what this little person says. And I want you to love my kid and we're gonna sort this issue out. Then you need to accept his kid and you need to be a wife and a mom. Because you're about to have another kid. You need to be a mom and you need to fix whatever problems your household is having. Especially when it comes to kids. You need to, yo guys, you need to love these dead kids. Because if you don't, <laughs> you will have some real issues. Love your husband or your partner. Your partner needs to love you. Put your relationship first. Not over the kid. Before people say, say this is missing. Now, I'm not saying put your relationship above and ab over the kid. But put your relationship first. Would you guys say, no matter what happens, we're going to stay together because we love each other. Tick. Then we're going to say, now how are we going to deal with this little bastard in our lives? <laughs> how are we going to deal with him? What are we going to do? Do you need to be more strict? Are you going to be playing the mother role or are you not going to play the mother role at all? Is he going to step in when he feels like things are getting awkward? He needs to be able to tell you and manage the situation. And he needs to tell you when and what to do. <sighs> Going into a relationship with kids is not easy. But when it works, it works. But it takes work. My name is The Fox and I'm out.